By now, most of you have seen Captain America the Winter Soldier. And at the end of Captain America, we see two new characters that are going to appear in Avengers The Age of Ultron, which is Avengers 2, coming out a year from this summer. The two characters that we see, this doesn't spoil anything really for Captain America because they don't really have anything to do with the plot of Captain America, but the two characters we see are Quicksilver and his twin sister, the Scarlet Witch. This looks cool when I do it, right? I can pull this off. So the two characters, uh, I'm going to tell you who they are, uh, some history about them, and what storylines would be awesome if they make it to the big screen. Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch are twins. Now get this because it's about to blow your minds. Their dad is Magneto, the villain from the X-Men. Now here's the tricky thing, because Magneto and the X-Men, their film rights are all owned by Fox. That means that Marvel Studios can't use them. And I know this is confusing and I'm gonna make another video outlining who can use what and why these stories can never intercross. But anyways, Magneto cannot be mentioned in the Avengers. So that means Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver can be in it, but they can't ever mention who they're related to. They can't even use the word mutant. So that's why at the end of Captain America, uh, Baron Von Strucker says now it is the age of miracles. So I thought he was going to say Age of Mutants, but that word, taboo, cannot use. So originally, both of them showed up in one of the earliest issues of the X-Men, and they were both villains. After their stint as villains in the X-Men, they decided they're going to change their ways, they became heroes, they were Avengers for a long time, which is why Marvel has the rights to still use them. They're two of the characters that spent a majority of their time as Avengers, but they were introduced in X-Men, so that's why they fall in this weird middle gray area that both studios can use them. So let's talk about Quicksilver. In Avengers Age of Ultron, Quicksilver is going to be played by Aaron Taylor Johnson, best known for Kick-Ass. So he's already done some superhero movies, he's already kind of earned some credibility, um, so that's awesome. Quicksilver, his real name is Peter Maximoff, or Piet Pietro, uh, imagine Magneto with an accent naming his kid, I want them to be named Pietro, um, Maximoff. Uh, and his sister is Wanda, which is a much easier name to pronounce. So, uh, Quicksilver, he can basically move super fast. All right? Speed of light. So Quicksilver, one of his coolest storylines um, is that he, he travels to outer space. All right, which sounds crazy, but with Guardians of the Galaxy about to come out, Outer space doesn't really mean as out there as before. So Quicksilver travels outer space, he gets injured, he gets brought back to life by this woman named Crystal. And Crystal is a member of a group called the Inhumans. The Inhumans is a, uh, another superhero team out in space defending us from intergalactic threats. Um, to give you a cue as to how powerful they are, their leader, the Black Bolt, his voice is so powerful that if he even whispers it can like decimate entire armies. So he's a silent hero, which would be crazy in a movie. Imagine that climax, he just whispers one word and the battlefield shatters. So Crystal is a member of the Inhumans and she can control four of the basic elements. So like water, fire, whatever. So she does all sorts of stuff. She saves Quicksilver and brings him back to life from some sort of death situation. Um, they end up getting married and they have a child named Luna. Um, Things eventually don't end well uh, because I think they find out that Quicksilver is a mutant and they don't like that, something, and so they ban him from ever seeing his wife and daughter again. Very tragic. Now here's where the world gets a little smaller. Crystal ends up marrying a villain named Ronan the Accuser who is appearing in this summer's Guardians of the Galaxy, played by Lee Pace. Uh, Lee Pace also plays Thranduil, in the Hobbit movies, uh, so that's probably where you know him from. And director James Gunn said that Ronan the Accuser, his performance is like, like crazy intense. Like he's gonna be like a defining villain of our generation. So imagine that character is gonna end up marrying Quicksilver's essentially ex-wife, which would be a crazy plot. Um, but with Guardians of the Galaxy exposing us to this whole other universe out there, it's not impossible that a situation like this and a storyline like this could happen. Now the Scarlet Witch, 
Um, at a basic level, she can manipulate probability. So she can change the odds of something happening in her favor. Um, she can also cast hexes, which hurt the probability of something else happening. So she can make you unlucky. She can make things not work out for you. Um, that's on a very basic level. Scarlet Witch is played by Elizabeth Olsen, which is the third Olsen sister. Not a twin, but she's related to them. She actually has a credible history of acting. Imagine this, the Scarlet Witch ends up marrying a robot named Vision. Now, Vision is not as far away as you would think. So here's the link. Right now, Tony Stark created an artificial intelligence named Jarvis, voiced by Paul Bettany. Jarvis, um, I believe, is going to become an artificial intelligence and take over um, and become the villain that is known as Ultron. So the Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, Ultron is a complete, awesome, destructive villain. Ultron is at some point defeated, and in an effort to come back to power, he creates a soldier, like a, a herald, um, named Vision. Vision uh, finds kind of a conscious, ends up um, becoming a hero, right? Standard villain turned hero storyline. Here's why I think Jarvis from Iron Man is going to eventually become Ultron and become the Vision. They've announced that the Vision is going to be played by Paul Bettany, who voices Jarvis. So it's a natural progression that he would then play the voice and the voice becomes real, realizes what it's done, becomes a hero. Um, so that could be awesome. I'm not gonna tell you much more about Vision because uh, it may be a while before he shows up. I'll tell you on a need to know basis. James Spader is set to voice Ultron, but Paul Bettany is set to play the Vision, so we'll see what happens. So anyways, moving on, the Scarlet Witch ends up marrying the Vision, and because she can alter reality, she enables it that they can have children. Um, so she has a couple kids, it's awesome. Um, long story short, something tragic happens and she loses her kids. Um, and someone in the world that is able to wipe memories um, gets rid of the fact that she ever had them so she doesn't remember the pain and torment. Years and years later, she eventually remembers. And this triggers a series of events in the Marvel Universe called the House of M. Okay, and the M stands for Magneto, because they're family, right? Magneto, Quicksilver, and the Scarlet Witch, and some stepsisters and brothers, whatever. Quicksilver convinces his sister to alter reality um, so that her kids survived. But that is her deepest wish. So in a blanket statement, she says, like, I want everyone's dreams to come true. All right, this is crazy. So it triggers this alternate reality where now, bam, everyone's dreams come true. Magneto, his dream is that mutants would become the majority, right? They would have the power. So in this reality, humans are now the minority. They're hunted, they're captured, they're whatever, like bad news, mutants everywhere. Um, everyone's kind of happy for a while. A few people remember their lives before including Wolverine. Why Wolverine? I don't know, he's the star of everything, but whatever. Eventually, people start to remember. And when Magneto remembers that this is not the way life is supposed to be, all these people were hurt, this isn't what he wanted, like things that were not supposed to be this way, he ends up almost murdering Quicksilver, okay? And when he lashes out at the Scarlet Witch for what she did, in a complete turn of events, she whispers three words that change reality again, crazy town. And she says, no more mutants. Now, bam, reality changes again. Now, everyone that had a mutant power, like thousands, millions of people, like huge amounts of people, now there's like a hundred mutants left in the world. All right, so all of these big heroes are now trying to survive with how I don't have any powers. Um, so for a long time, the comic series was trying to negotiate who has powers, who doesn't, how do they get powers back. Uh, one of the people that ended up without powers was Quicksilver. Um, and so he finds a way to kind of get some other powers. Um, eventually, a lot of people kind of get back to where they were because that's what's interesting in comic books. So they undid a lot of that. But it was this crazy situation that she is so powerful that just by saying a few words, it changes the reality of everyone on the planet. So imagine 
in Avengers, maybe Avengers 3, maybe a spin-off movie, who knows, that she has the power to literally change the world around them. So, this is crazier than just a witch that can move stuff with her mind. We're talking alter the entire world. Unfortunately, we won't see this story for a long, long time because Magneto still falls under Fox and will not appear in any Avengers storylines. Now, like I said, Fox has the rights to Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. They've released this official photo, which is weird. Uh, they haven't said that that is the Scarlet Witch in the photo, but I don't know what else it could be. Um, they're supposed to be twins, they're different ages, uh, whatever. Um, I'm not a big fan of how Quicksilver looks. Um, X-Men Days of Future Past is going to come out this summer of 2014, um, so we'll see very soon how it works. Um, but I'm placing my bets on the Avengers in Whedon We Trust. Um, but they have rights to use them. So we're going to see Quicksilver show up in two different movies as two different actors. We'll see. So that is Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Uh, the twins that showed up at the end of Captain America the Winter Soldier and are going to be showing up in Avengers Age of Ultron. So, something to be excited for. A lot of huge storylines, a lot of places they can go. I'm not sure what sort of contracts these actors signed, but I hope to see them around for a long time because there's some incredible source material here. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, for more articles, check out IamYourTargetDemographic.com. Uh, weekly, I'm reviewing movies, I'm writing articles, I'm reviewing video games. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Well,